This is a video about lawn care on a sunny day. What's up, everybody? Yellow. What's up, man? Sure. Yeah, let me get my crap together. I'll be right over. All right. See you soon. Bye. Time to get to work. Bringing a couple other tools with us today. Gotta have that for a lawn bomb. You never know what you might come into contact with and need to, you know, stab the soil. Groundskeeper's coming too. A couple other things because I don't know what I'm going to encounter. I'm bringing a bucket just in case I want to do a drench on something. I'm bringing this guy right here. This is actually was just in the bucket, and that's why it's here. And then the last thing that's important is this for good luck. All right, everybody, I just pulled up at my buddy's house. We're gonna go take a quick walk around, see what's going on with his lawn, and see what sort of lawn bomb put on it today, and get this thing just looking awesome. So let's go take a look. First things first that we're going to identify here that I think are really important to note. Just walking in the first 30 feet, three different grass types growing in here. We have fine fescue, we have tall fescue, and we have bluegrass. All of those things are growing in this yard, so we have a true salad bar that we're going to get to work with. That's going to be fun. This area right behind me right here dog pee loads of it we'll do something with that see if we can kind of flush some of that down that'll be something coming up here all right so three main weeds i've seen so far on the lawn and there are kind of a lot of them dandelions number one they have not uh, flowered yet so that's good uh, they won't proliferate after today we're going to smoke them uh, yarrow would be another one chickweed I've seen, and a little bit of clover. Now, uh, I may have seen some morning glory in there as well, um, buried back here under one of these trees, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, so we are gonna spray all of that out today. Nice, huh? So you can see just in this little area, what I was able to rake with just a couple little passes with the groundskeeper. Um, you know, I'm honestly not too concerned with it. This is something that'll mulch down with the mower and just get put back into the soil. Eventually we're gonna need to come back in here and do a dethatch application, uh, but that's not gonna happen today. I just kind of wanted to show this. now. A couple little rakes and we've changed the color of the grass. And now you're back looking at like a green lawn again. So, you know, for a lot of people that's, that's really all it takes. 
So here's what I'm thinking of doing. I brought 1801, I brought Humic, I brought RGS. I also brought a broadleaf herbicide. We're gonna do all of those today. And the only thing that I was just trying to figure out for myself was if I was going to go ahead and just do a blanket app of herbicide because there's kind of a lot of weeds in here. No pre-emergent no pre -emergent has been put down. So um, I'm thinking we're just gonna have to address that. So I will be sacrificing my hose in sprayer and getting a new one leaving it with them so that they can have it and continue to do applications. But let's go talk about that broadly for a second. Okay, so we are gonna use T-Zone today. You guys may have seen this in a video I did last year. Uh, reason I'm actually going to be using this right now is because of triclopyr, and triclopyr will give me a little bit of aid in killing weeds while it's still cooler. Now, it is warmer here than it is in Park City uh, down in Midway, so uh, we will get some benefit uh, from the 2,4-D and dicamba, it's going to work pretty well. Um, but it's still going to take maybe a little bit of extra time to kill these weeds because there is a cool spell coming up. So they'll slowly die over the next week to 10 days. And, um, and once they're gone, you know, good. That'll be great. So <laughs> We're looking right at 5,000 square feet total. So, um, yeah, that should be easy. I'm gonna mix the Humic and the RGS together, and then we'll bust out sections with the 1801, and then we'll run back through and do all of that uh, broadleaf herbicide app and get this place rocking and rolling. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and nail this. I'm gonna have to do it twice with this mix that I'm about to put in here. Uh, I'm gonna split the lawn in half. I'm gonna end up doing six ounces of RGS straight out of the gate. So we're gonna be looking at 12, 15 ounces of that. The balance of it is going to be humic in the sprayer because I wanna get a little bit of a heavy hit out here. Um, so really it's gonna be a little over another six ounces of humic as well. So that'll be first tank and then we'll do the exact same thing again to get the back part of the property done um, that's really it I mean it's pretty pretty dang simple so that, that's what's gonna happen right now All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run my T-Zone. I just couldn't do it. I decided that I was not gonna go ahead and tank spray that thing with the 1801. It just didn't, didn't feel right. So we're gonna go ahead and run it through the hand can. Bang, I don't have a backpack sprayer with me, so I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way because I'm tough. So we're gonna run this at an ounce and a half uh, per thousand, really per gallon is how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start knocking out some weeds that's my next big thing as you can see i shifted my attire long sleeve time bang to make sure that i'm at least partially covered up no, no flip-flops either
All right, that's it for me. Done with this. Drop the lawn bomb on it. We did the broadleaf weed control. We did an 1801 app. We did an RGS app. We did a Humic app. All of that's done. We're going to have to come back and take a look at it in a week or two, but this thing should be rocking and rolling in no time. So that's it. That's all I've got for you today. Stay tuned for the update. Talk to you soon. See ya.